Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the spectrophotometer. There are two spectrophotometers. They are from different manufacturers. <coughs> you will find them in the labs, but they measure both the same thing. Now, before starting your experiment, you need to make sure to check that the spectrophotometer is, is switched in the mains. And also, you need to switch on the button at the back of the machine. You can measure protein concentration using Bradford assay. For the Bradford assay, you will require a range of standards that come ready-made in a box like a kit. Here are your range of standards. And also you will need the dye, Bradford reagent, which comes here in, in a bottle like this. Uh, then you prepare your standards at, at a range of concentrations and add one mil of Bradford reagent to each cuvette. So here you have your range of standards already prepared for to measure with the spectrophotometer. Also you will need, in addition, you will need a blank cuvette with just water to zero your spectrophotometer. And here you have your unknown samples. To record your Bradford SE results, you first will have to set the spectrophotometer at 595 nanometers wavelength. Before measuring your samples, you need to zero the spectrophotometer with your blank. So you need to put the blank cuvette so that the light can pass through the clear side of the cuvette. In order to zero, you will follow the instructions on the spectrophotometer. In this case, you will press zero base button, and then another button run, and wait for the results appearing on the screen. Now you are ready to record your standards and your unknown samples. For this, you will be putting your standards the same way that you put the blank into the spectrophotometer. and then press run and wait for the results appearing on the screen. You are going to do this all, the, all your standards one by one the same way. Pressing the button run and then waiting for the results on the screen. Now you have got all your results from your standards on the screen and you can use them to, to draw your standard curve. You will measure your unknown samples the same way and extrapolate the concentrations of the unknowns from the standard curve. 